Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Everything Shiny 775. I'm Veronica and um, coming to you with another video from Reno, Nevada. It is cold outside. We're supposed to be getting some more snow, so um, it's freezing today. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a video, but I opened up this box. Um, it had been sitting in my living room for about two weeks now. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go through it really quick. So I pulled the bag out, and this is what I got. Um, it is from American Thrift Supply. Um, I ordered two boxes. One, I had a 15% off coupon, which made it a total of just under $39 with tax and uh, delivery, shipping and everything. And then um, actually I think they offer free shipping. Um, and then this, this one was just under $50 with tax and um, handling fee. So um, looking at this one though, I'm not sure how happy I will be with it. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Um, please, before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also don't forget to hit that bell um, so you can be notified of upcoming notifications, upcoming videos. Okay, let's get started. Um, that just opened up really quickly okay I am seeing a whole lot of this particular bead so I'm not sure if I got the same necklace several times or what it is so let's look at this together let me get this bag out of the way because it is noisy and um, I'm sorry about my table it's I didn't put down something um, to kind of shield the noise but here we go let's scoot, scoot that over let's go for one of them so I've got a whole bunch it looks like of these guys they look like hand handmade well this one looks like somebody was trying to sell that for $58 um, looking at them there's there's some gemstones there's some wooden beads I'm not sure exactly what this is if it's like a ceramic I mean, it's pretty. It, it is. It's a nice, um, uh, I don't know what, what style that is. If it's like a tribal, um, design or, um, something like that. I like this bead here. If you look at that, I don't know if you could see that. It looks like it has a chain. Um, a chain in that bead it's not painted it is an actual chain that is woven into that into that bead so anyways somebody was trying to sell that for $58 okay um, it looks like I'm gonna wind up with a ton of these so um, not sure what to do with all of them or what I don't know if it's handmade um, let me show you the clasp it is a spring clasp gold tone and they're wooden and um, gem beads those are some type of gemstone so there's those these ones might be ceramic I'm not sure but there's one Here's another one. This one looks like it's seen better days. You know what? They are handmade because look at this one. 
um, the way this was made wasn't made with, I don't know if that's supposed to hold it like that, or if it's missing a piece, a piece fell off. I don't know. Either way, that one would have to be restrung because I wouldn't, I wouldn't send that one out like that. But this one, similar to that last one. These ones are a little different. We got us metal beads and um, just different types of, looks like quartz and agates and just wooden beads. I mean, these are really pretty. They, they are really nice, but why did I get so many of them? You know, I'm just a little confused about that. So there's two. Oh boy, sorry about that. Maybe I should have put down something. This one, if you could see that, um, the clasp or the jump ring is bent. So that would have to be fixed. Um, and I'm not sure if this is real horn or bone. I don't know. But same theme. If I kept these, I would probably definitely restring all of them again. So there's three. How much were they selling this one for? Another $58 they were trying to sell this one for. These metal filigree beads are pretty. These look a little bit like Jasper. And there's that bead again. So, uh, I don't know. Four. Here's a number five. This is why I thought, it, I'm gonna get through this pretty quick if all these, if this is all that's in there. Uh, now this, this horn or whatever it is, this one has seen better days. This one has a few chips in it. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if it's damaged. I don't know. I think I'm a little disappointed in this so far because I, I can understand getting two or three of the same necklace, but we've got a lot of these here. So they filled up most of that box, most of that bag with these. So these ones are um, a metal, more metal. I wonder if this is a type of coral. Hmm. We've got some plastic ones here at the end. Spring clasp again. So there's that one. Here is another one, just like one of the other ones. This one looks mostly wood, um, but here's that bead again. It does look like a coral, like a coral bead and wood. It's got, it's got the J hook and a spring ring. So I'm not liking the mechanics of it, but that's what it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This one was going to be $24. Uh, these do feel like they're cold to the touch. I wonder if that's like a carnelian. Looks almost too orange for that, but it is some type of something. Hmm. But I do like that bead. Not sure what that is. It doesn't feel wood. But anyways, okay, there's another one. You guys, it just keeps going. Oh my goodness. Here's another one. If anybody knows 
a brand or a designer that these match. Ooh, bonus hair. A designer or somebody has any information on these. Because, I mean, they could be worth something. They could be, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. These look like they could be bone. Um, those little carved roses there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, there's another one. I'm going to have to count all of these. Uh, I was going to say this one might be different, but nope. It's got that spring clasp and J-hook again. Which, okay. <laughs> uh, shells on this one and wooden beads. So, here's another horn, and this one, this one's in better shape. That other one had chips and, and scratches in it, um, but this one's really nice. This, one, this horn is in nice shape. So, there's another one. Jeez. Here's a blue one. $65. They were asking for this one. I'm just, I'm sorry I'm going real quick through these. I don't, oh boy. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them. Um, they've got these really pretty close knee looking beads. It's a navy blue with um, painted flowers on them. So this one is a bunch of different uh, blue beads, but yeah, there's that one. Again, somebody was trying to sell that for $65. Same brand or whatever that is. This one was 14. This one's a little simpler. It's it's wooden. Um, it feels like it's all wood. Yeah. And it looks like this is the last. Here's another. Oh, I don't know if this is the same one. This one has a different type of clasp. This one, yeah, this one isn't one of those. But this necklace is stinky. Yeah, it smells, ugh, it smells like cigarettes. It's probably, ugh, I don't even want to touch that. I'm sorry, <laughs> that one's gross. <laughs> that one I will probably be throwing away. Okay, so I don't know what we're gonna do with this pile. We're gonna figure out what they are, do some research on them, and um, I will be letting you guys know what, what's good on those. Here's a pair of earrings. Some just little um, rhinestone CZ. They don't look like gold or anything, but little pair of earrings. Here is a really nice, thick, very nice chain. Um, very little wear. Let's see. Oh, it's a Joan Rivers. I love Joan Rivers jewelry. I've got a couple of pieces in my shop and um, she sells really well. I just really like her stuff. She's very classy. Okay, so Joan Rivers. Here is a bangle bracelet. Uh oh, that one's a little snug, but that's pretty. I wonder if that's silver. I'll have to test that. I don't have any of my um, testing stuff down here today, um, but I will test that one. Looking at it, that one might not be silver. It is stamped. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of blurry. Sorry about that. India is what that is stamped. So we will test that one. Here is another, oh, this one's just all kinds of messed up 
Um, okay. Oh, it says overlay mother of pearl. And there is a tag. Carla Jordan is on that one. Carla Jordan. So, um, you know, it's seen better days. Sorry, Carla. Here is a single earring. It's missing a bunch of rhinestones, so we'll put that in a craft lot. Another single earring. This is, oh, this is a bookmark. Look at that. It's got golf, golf clubs on it. This reminds me of um, Scrimshaw. If you, if you, um, you know, with the ivory, this is not ivory. Let's clarify that right now. Um, but the Scrimshaw, they used to carve designs into the ivory. And that's what that reminds me of. Um, it is not, but it just reminds me of it. Um, gold tone, it does have a signature on the back. What does that say? You say Barlow? Barlow. So it's a Barlow, gold tone, golf bookmark. That one's kind of, that was kind of nice. Okay, here is, uh, this necklace looks a little vintage. The jump ring just came out, so I will have to tighten that up so it doesn't come out again, because look at that, just slips right out. So that'll need to be adjusted. This is, oh, look at that. It's a Trafari. So this is a Trafari necklace. It is in really nice shape. So, so far out of, oh, look, I'm gonna have to redo a lot of the rings. They look like they're open. So, so far, this is a nice necklace. This one in the Joan Rivers are, um, I'm going to put aside my, my favorite items so that we can see if this bag was worth the $50 I paid for it. Um, okay. Let's see. Here is a bracelet. It could just use a really good cleaning, but it's kind of nice. Just a nice little bangle. Um, gold tone. There we go. Let's see if there's any signatures. Oh, it is. Oh, look at that. It is RLL, -L, which is Lauren by Ralph Lauren. So that's a nice little bracelet. Hopefully we can clean that up and, and uh, there's not too much um, scratches or damage on that one. Okay. Here is, look at the detailing on this, these little flowers here. That's really pretty. It kind of looks like a honeycomb. That one's kind of cute. I don't know if it's silver. It kind of has the look of silver, but I would have to test it. But that's pretty. Um, yeah cuff, a cuff bracelet, possibly silver, not sure. Okay, let's get you guys out of the way. Here is just a colorful glass bead necklace. This is the clasp. So it is just a simple little necklace. And then, not one, but two. Okay, so there's that. 
those bright colors right now for summer are really, really going to be nice this summer. Um, especially these blues and the greens and yellows. Um, those are going to be really popular this summer. So we got two of those. Here is another cuff bracelet. Looks like it's brass and silver tone. I'm not sure if it's real silver, but Ugh. oh my gosh, how can you get that on? <sighs> so I guess <sighs> I have no strength in my hands this morning. <laughs> my arthritis is not being nice. Okay, I can't get that one on, but um, yeah, I will be testing that. And if it's silver, um, you know, I'll clean it up and uh, test that and uh, probably list that. But if it's not, I'll probably throw that one in a craft lot. Okay, so back to the single earrings. That earring, nah, there's, there's nothing to that earring. I didn't even check this one. Nope, nothing to that one. And it looks like I just got single earrings. There's a little pearl lever back. That was kind of cute, but I don't have the other one. Here is a pair of tassel earrings. Looks like red tassels. Uh, there's a little bit of, a, there's a stitch that came undone there. Um, so there's those. Let's see. Okay, so these ones match. Um, but I think I'll just throw all these in a craft lot. These ones look like they're silver. No, they don't. We're all good. Just a cheapy little, here's the other one of these. Yep, craft lot. Okay. Here is a glass pearl necklace. Um, the pearls are all, the pearls have seen better days. They're probably just really dirty. They probably could use a good cleaning. Um, this clasp, this toggle, might be silver. I'll have to test it, but this will need to be restrung. If you could see that um, string there, that wire, if you tried to wear that, oh my goodness, that would tear up the back of your neck and you would be scratching for days. Um, so that is, that would need to be repaired before this was worn. It's pretty, but yeah, so far not too happy with this lot. Um, here is another pearl uh, necklace with a lobster clasp. These are plastic. So just a, a little, um, you know, just a little plastic pearl necklace. I might give that to one of my nieces. That's that's kind of cute. Here is just a gold rope chain that has seen better days. It is, um, it does have wear on it. Okay, look at this. You see how that is stamped 14 karat? I can guarantee you, I don't know if you can see that. I can guarantee you this is not 14 karat. You can see the brass coming through. Oh, that just makes me mad when jewelers stamp um, their stuff um, to be sold as real stuff when it's not. So, um, I'm not a dummy. I will <laughs> test it. But I can 99.9% .9 guarantee you that this is not 14 karat gold. 
Here is another little gold chain um, with a little, yeah, that one will go in, go away. Here is, this one has, just needs to be cleaned up. But that one, I, I kind of like that, that charm, that charm bracelet. Um, with the little charm heart. This is, who are you? It is a Monet. I can barely see that myself, so I don't know if you were able to see that. But this is a little Monet. Um, it has seen better days. It is a little tarnished. There's that. Here is a, is it a feather? It is a feather. I was gonna say it's a leaf, but it's a feather brooch. Mechanism is, ooh, not working. I mean, it opens, but that is really stiff. That's not going anywhere. So this will probably go into a craft lot, which is too bad because that that's actually really pretty. Darn it. Just when I thought I was going to get something good. Here is a little tiny. Look at how little that is. It's a little guy. Um, probably alpaca silver from Mexico. Let's see if there's any markings. <laughs> it does say Mexico. And something else, but it's too worn. But, um, yeah, this is probably alpaca Mexico silver. So, that's kind of cute. Really small for a little, goodness, I would say toddler. That is tiny. So, little baby bracelet. And then we've got this guy. Look at this guy. I might have found something actually nice in this particular vase. A actually, it wasn't a vase, it was a bag. Um, so we will test this to see if it is silver. If it is, these are probably moonstone. That could be an onyx with little turquoise. Ideally, the, that would be um, the perfect scenario if those were all genuine and if this was silver um, so we will definitely we will definitely be testing this let me see Ugh. this one does open up a little bit uh, there we go let's see oh there you see that <gasps> look at that that's kind of pretty I kind of like that one with my Laramar sterling silver um, bracelet. My my son and daughter-in-law, they went to, I can't remember where they got this, if it was in Puerto Rico or, um, they, they went somewhere over by the islands and uh, brought me back that Laramar uh, bracelet, which I absolutely love. But, um, yeah, that's, I'll have to check. Okay, so, <sighs> that one might be worth what I paid for, um, for the, ba for the bag. So, um, you know, this one might have a little value. This one, I do like this Joan Rivers necklace. It's really pretty. And then um, the Trifari, I'll have to do a little bit of fixing on it. And then the bookmark. So it looks like that's pretty much it. These guys might be silver, might not be. I'm not sure, we will test them. And then I've got all of this, which I do not know what all that is. So I'm gonna do some research on these guys and um, you know, it could be a really awesome, a really awesome thing or it could be just, um, you know, 
just a bunch of the same necklaces that in order for me to sell them, I'd probably have to restring them. So a whole lot of work. Um, so yeah, there we are. That was a fast bag. So you only get uh, a little bit today. I apologize for that. Um, all in all, not too happy with American, what is it called? American thrift, American thrift something. <laughs> Oh, wait, there's more. Wait. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we'll do some research on these. I'll come back and let you guys know next video. I'll, hi I'll um, update you on what these are and if there's any value to them. Um, otherwise, you know, they are fun. I mean, there's a lot of them. <laughs> okay, guys, don't forget to... Um, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and don't forget to hit that bell. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you have a good day, and everybody stay warm. Bye.